Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to... Oh, what did I do? <laughs> oh, I accidentally hit the Dynasty thing. Didn't I? Yeah. Why doesn't it say uh, Dictopolis? Oh, that's because we're under the Carlene banner. Because of the Emperor. Looking at the kingdoms, though. Look, Galatia's here. And apparently they've taken over part of England. I have friends who live in that area. England has yet to get their shit together. Scotland, strong. Just taking a look around. Swiftjot, Astolat. What the hell's that? Jamatalant. So many places. They, if you live in this part of the world, man, Paradox really picked some crappy colors for you guys. Take that up with Paradox. One of the nice things I did see, as we just kind of quickly look over everything... Well, let's look at regional powers a quick second. We'll look at the Byzantine Empire. Look, there's a child in charge now. He's only 11. He has access to about 14,000 troops. I guess their holy war is done now against the... Uh, I think they're fighting the Abbasids. Let's see how the Abbasids are doing. They have a child in charge now, too. They have about 18,000 troops. Let's come over here to the Kingdom of Italy. He's got only about 3,000 troops. It's really a shame... We could only declare a war on him for, like, that one little territory. That is just not worth it. And if we look at the Emperor, he's only got about 7,000 troops. He's about the same size as us. I guess he lost a lot of troops in that war with Italy. I would love to fight a war of independence now. The biggest problem being, though, is that his siblings... The Emperor's, I believe, brothers are the kings of Aquitaine and France. And you can see... His allies are kings of West Francia, Aquitaine, and East Francia. East Francia is in here. He's a direct vassal of them. So, even though we want independence, that would be a problem. We have another problem. is If you look here at our vassal limit, we are way over the vassal limit. Part of the reason Dongerson has been able to hold on to power so easily, within his realm at least, is because everybody just sounds like one little territory. They're all little counts. He's tried to make it so people can't consolidate power, but we've gotten so big now because we're everything... Man, if you drew a line with the river here and the line here, everything east of that is uh, Dictoplian territory of Dongerson and Dictopolis. Basically, it's too big for us to effectively govern with our bureaucracy, so we need an extra level of bureaucracy, which I really don't want to add... But we need to, meaning we need to set up some dukes. So we basically need to find some places where we can form duchies, like here. What's it going to cost us? 200 prestige and 100 gold. We're going to create a duchy here. Let's create a duchy of whatever that was. And then we're going to give it to, who do we give it to? We'll give it to this kid here. He likes us. So we will grant him... What was it? The duchy of this place? What it should do, if you look at our vassal limit up there, it makes it go down by one because this guy who was our direct vassal is now the vassal of the kid here. So that helped a little bit. We, we're going to need to do more of that, though. Because the bigger you get over the vassal limit, the less taxes you're going to collect, the less people are going to actually show up with their troops. It's just too much to manage from a bureaucratic standpoint now we got to get all these armies together fought so many wars kind of would like to form the duchy here i'm kind of leery about forming big duchies though because we don't want anyone to get super powerful i'd rather that we didn't have to form any duchies to be honest but Do we control Rama ourselves? We do. County of Vidlin. Vidlin has converted to the Catholic faith. You know what else has? It probably happened in a previous episode. I never noticed it. Our home territory did. I think it was the stupid emperor doing that. Man, I would love to declare independence if we could. So let's see. What else do we have for Duchy's Pest? Are any of these guys in Pest... Tengri. I don't think they are because I think these are guys are all old, old school Bulgarians. Yeah. 
You know, actually, maybe that's one to give out. The reason I'm saying that is we already have that duchy. We, we conquered that a long time ago, so we don't need to spend money to form it. I should make that guy like us more. He does. He loves us. That lowers our vassal limit again. What is the other duchy we have? Broshka? We could give it to our asshole grandson. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> what about to this old guy? I don't know if that's a good idea either. You know, if we're going to give it to someone, it might... Oh, man, I don't know. That kid's been nothing but trouble. Let's see if we can form another duchy somewhere that's smaller. Vidin? Okay, we'll create the duchy of Vidin. And we will give that to... Hey, that's our grandson, but he's cool. He's not a dick like the other ones, so we will grant him the Duchy of Vidin. See, other grandson, that's how you do it. You be cool. You be nice. You don't be a greedy dickhead. He has sympathy for Christendom? Oh, that's all right. So that has lowered our vassal limit some. Oh, wait, that didn't, because I still own Vidin. I could give Vidin away now, though safely so why don't we do that my religion my culture group this guy doesn't own anything does he oh yeah he does but i wanted to click on the wrong guy all right this guy doesn't own anything we will give him fidden That's not going to lower our vassal limit, but it gets us um, here for, with our domain limit. Probably just do a little bit more bookkeeping like that. Let's see if we can find any others out here. What about Pressburg? What are you a part of? Grand? That's... Okay, we'll have to wait till we have enough money to do that. That's the really kind of boring bookkeeping stuff. And unfortunately, that will mean in the long run, we'll have more people that could be a threat to us hypothetically. But what are you going to do? We're just we, we're a victim of our own success here with how successful King Dongerson's been. We can create more kingdom titles, but we don't want to do that because we're gavel kind, which means it would be divided amongst the children. Kind of like when Alexander the Great died and his whole empire got caught up, cut up. That's what would happen to us. So, say military-wise, we're pretty close to the top of the retinue cap. We're building our new retinue units here. We're gonna try and get all our retinue in one place. Oh, our son had a son. Who are you, Prince? Too much. Man, look at the age difference. Our eldest son is 46, and um, our youngest child is four. <laughs> There's a 40-some year difference between our oldest and youngest child. Dongerson gets around. Hum? Converted to the Catholic faith? Are you kidding me? It's supposed to become Tangri. That's got to be the Emperor's doing. Right, we got to get some more money so we can hand up some more dukedoms. At the same time, we need to start saving up more money. Our vassal number here is starting to go up too as we get our vassal number more in line with what it should be for optimum bureaucratic efficiency. We do have a weak claim on the kingdom of Magia. What the hell is going on there? They're fighting wars against everybody. I might have mentioned it earlier, but you can see that Bulgaria expanded. Man, is Dongerson the most prestigious son of a bitch ever? What? Look at all that prestige. And even all that piety, despite the fact he loses piety each month. I might have been too harsh to the courtiers at Sir Dicka, but Chancellor Chief Besmer managed to calm them down even... 
And even like me more by giving them a half day off. How can I ever reward you? So he probably pissed them off because he's going lunatic. He probably pooped in all their shoes and stuff. He's like, oh! And the guy made him pee, have him peace. Oh, wait. Oh, we can go fight another war against the King of Greater Moravia? I don't know if we should do that, though. We can't usurp this. Why? Oh, because we don't have enough money to. Otherwise, we could usurp the uh, duchy title there and give them to someone. Which would probably be worth it. Then they could fight their own wars. Somebody's phone. Ooh. Somebody formed the faction to lower crown authority. Oh, man. I would love to be a part of that, but we do not have the kind of money one needs for a war right now. I don't know if Dong... It depends on how many years Dongerson has left. If he could ever get rid of the Great Pox and quit being a lunatic, that probably is not going to happen with the second part, with the lunatic part. Let's merge our troops here. Someone else has troops here as well. The army of Baron Avarada of the Holy Roman Empire. Wow, he's got a lot of troops there. He's got 2,400 troops there. I don't know why he does. I don't really like that. Spend a little money each month trying to get our retinue up to speed. Yeah, we still got to get a bunch of archers. Ooh, and light footmen. We're going to have an okay retinue once that's done, though. The only thing it kind of lacks is a little bit of cavalry. A daughter was born to somebody. Oh, our brother-in-law. Great story. Which brother-in-law? Of the current wife or of, um... One of the other three wives. Or two wives. So he's had three wives total. Dongerson gets around! He's like, I like to get my Dongerson wet. And they're like, Grandpa, we don't want to hear... Oh, he needs another concubine. Let's get another concubine. <laughs> Not a dude. What about this lady? Nah, we want someone younger. Ooh, how about her? New concubine coming to town. Wait, did I send them a message? I think I did. Hell yeah. He might have gone crazy, but he still loves the sexin. Let's see, she's flamboyant, schemer just, lustful, shy, and brave. He's lustful too. It's like, you want some old man action? Yeah, Daddy. That's not creepy. I fucked my aunt. Oh. All right. We can righteously imprison this guy. Who the fuck is that? Ah, oh, no. He's one of the kids we put in charge a long time ago. He's all right. He just wants to kill someone. Whatever. Let me speed things up just a tiny bit. We need to save up a bunch of money too. We are really low on the finances. And that's another thing that'll help is if we can form some more dukedoms, as much as I hate to, we might have to form one right here in the bigger territory just to get that vassal limit down faster. Carl Carlington. Carl Carling, our emperor, wants to make Dongerson a commander somewhere. Dongerson is a lunatic and 64 years old, and he's got the great pox. I don't think that's exactly the first guy you should go to as your commander. Oh, damn, our son's infirm. That's not great either. My liege, my mission to the Emperor has been a success, says the Chancellor Besma. I jerked him off real good. He loves you. That must be why he wants to make his commander. <laughs> Man, Dongerson's enjoying his later years. God, Dongerson's been amazing. Well, he'd probably be like, Tangray, been amazing. Honk. Seduction in the wild? At a festival, festive outing in the wild, I found myself left and missed wildflowers addressed to my daughter, Yo Mama. That would-be lover, Chief Borgus, is waiting for her by the stream near the camp. That Randy Goat, you're trying to do it with my daughter. How dare you, you bastard. She's married. Yo Mama's got kids. 
Let's raise so many sluts. My beloved wife, Joza, that's her, uh, is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she's heard about. Now she wants me to introduce, introduce it at court. Oh man, we could say no and be greedy. I think we're gonna say no. Ooh, plus we get a tax benefit if we do that. She's like, no, I ain't buying you new clothes. My other wives and concubines don't ask for shit. She's like, but I want to look beautiful as I'm the prettiest princess. No one's prettier than me. Princess, king, queen, Dongerson. Ugh. You don't really love me. Fine, I'll go fuck my new hot concubine. How you like that? Oh, I kind of like that because then I'll get pox on me. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I love King Dongerson. He's the best. He's the best there ever was. The best there'll ever be. His son or anyone that takes over after him is going to have a very hard time fitting in or um, filling up his shoes, filling in his shoes, whatever. Yes, yes, yes. You made the emperor love us even more. Man, that chancellor is good at making the emperor love us. I would love to get the chancellor to get come back and get claims for us and different things, but yes, Marshal, you're training people. Great job. I just don't want the Emperor to get mad at us. Oh, we can upgrade some of our military. There is a head penalty for doing that. We might wait a little bit. I really want more military organization. Oh, I think a commander died or something. So we're able to appoint someone new. Oh! We'll appoint Dracula. That's not the original Dracula, that's like his son or grandson. Alright, as much as I kind of think this is a little risky, we're going to create the Duchy of Crobatia. Who are we going to give it to? Whoever does get it can press the claim here, because this is part of the de jure territory. Give it to you. Give it to you. We can give it to you. You look pretty badass, but you're a little older. Why don't we give it to Baldol here? He likes us anyway. So we will grant him the duchy of... What was it? Angvar? Perfect. Getting that number down a little bit more. Yeah, and you can see as we do that, the uh, total number of vassals we're able to raise goes up as our efficiency gets better. Man, look at how many vassals just love him. Look at all these 100s. I don't know if I've ever played a game and had a guy this popular. And he's a lunatic, and they still love him. <laughs> but like he slapped my baby and he pooped on my wife, but he's a good king. <laughs> you can't argue with results. <laughs> Are you an independent place? Oh yeah, you have been forever, but I don't think we can declare war on you because you're like the same religion or whatever. Do we have people in prison? We do, and we can't kill any of them. Let's just let them out. No reason to pay for their upkeep. Let them be free. You can see our monthly balance is going up too as we get closer to being in line with our vassal limit. Let's see how the Emperor's doing. My liege, I've collected a tithe in Sir Dicka. Wow, sweet. We needed that loot, bro. The Emperor has 23,000 troops again. How does he get those so fast? Crazy, son. Alright, there's Bohemia. I don't believe we can form that. What about Silesia? That's a little risky. We can usurp it from the current guy. We're going to usurp his title. The Scholar has uh, usurped the title Duchy of Silesia from Count Ulrich of Wurl. This guy his own territory now? He is! I guess us taking that title changed it. Changed things over here somehow, too. Oh, I bet you whoever had that title was in charge of all these areas. And now that his title is usurped, he uh, can't do anything about that. So, how about you? You're young, a Bulgarian. We will grant you the title Duchy of Silesia. 
can almost go to war against some of these guys. How many allies do you have? Two. They're not super powerful. Man, we could almost go after Silesia there now, too. I didn't realize that that was going to make things fall apart for some of those guys around us. For some reason, that didn't... You're the Duke now, right? Uh, that didn't get me as low in the vast limit as I was hoping. Oh, well, we, we've cut it down a s s fair amount. We should actually wait, though, before we start any more wars, because I just realized how low we are money-wise. Let's see if that increased our vassal military. I think maybe a little bit. I didn't write down the exact number from before. Well, all told, if we get all our troops together, we'd have over 7,000. Well, apparently he says we can raise over 8,000. Holy crap, we could have a big military. Not as big as the Emperor's, though. That's pretty freaking rad. All right, next time, maybe we'll do some more of this um, boring bookkeeping stuff. Probably not a lot more. Uh, we don't need to do much more bookkeeping. Basically, at this point, man, we could just... We need to get some more money started before we do any more wars. I still would love independence, but the Emperor is so strong. How strong is the King of the Byz or the Emperor of the Byzantines? Oh, he's still strong, too. 20,000. No matter how big we get, we're still stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, I'll see you all next time.